Section 1. Troubled Borderlands Kashmir and Aksai Chin Kashmir and Aksai Chin are two of the most disputed regions in the world. India, Pakistan and China all claim parts of these territories. This makes the areas very dangerous. Kashmir has high mountains and deep valleys. India and Pakistan have fought wars over Kashmir. Aksai Chin is a high-altitude desert. China controls it. Tensions remain high between India and China. Both sides have built up military forces. India has troops and bases in Kashmir and Ladakh. Pakistan has troops and bases in its part of Kashmir. China has a large military presence in Aksai Chin. India wants to secure its borders and stop terrorism. It needs strong military capabilities in these areas. Does India need AC-130 gunships for Kashmir and Aksai Chin? Section 2. The AC-130 Gunship A powerful but specialized weapon. The AC-130 is a heavily armed aircraft. It is a modified transport plane with powerful guns. These include cannons and howitzers. The AC-130 circles a target slowly. It fires from the side. The AC-130 is good for close air support. It can hit ground targets accurately. It is effective against enemy troops and vehicles. The AC-130 has weaknesses. It is slow and vulnerable. It is expensive to buy and operate. Section 3. Advantages, Firepower and Presence in the Skies The AC-130 could give India some advantages in Kashmir and Aksai Chin. Its firepower could be useful against insurgents and terrorists. It could provide close air support in mountain warfare. Its presence could deter enemy activity. In Kashmir, the AC-130 could help target militant camps and hideouts. It could support Indian troops in counter-insurgency operations. Its firepower could be effective in the mountainous terrain. In Aksai Chin, the AC-130 could provide surveillance along the border. It could deter Chinese incursions. Its long loiter time would allow it to monitor the area for extended periods. The psychological impact of the AC-130 should not be underestimated. The fear it instills could make enemies think twice before attacking. This could help prevent conflict. Section 4. Challenges, Altitude, Vulnerability and Cost The AC-130 would face challenges in Kashmir and Aksai Chin. The high altitude and mountainous terrain would limit its effectiveness. It would be vulnerable to enemy air defenses. Its cost would be a major concern for India. The AC-130 is designed to operate at lower altitudes. The thin air at high altitudes would reduce its performance. It would need to fly higher than usual in these mountainous regions. The AC-130 is vulnerable to anti-aircraft weapons. Both Pakistan and China have advanced air defense systems. India would need to ensure air superiority before deploying the AC-130. The AC-130 is very expensive. India would need to purchase the aircraft, train crews and maintain them. This would be a significant financial burden. Section 5. Alternatives Helicopters, Drones and Fighters India has other options besides the AC-130. Attack helicopters, drones and fighter jets could perform some of the same missions. These alternatives may be more suitable for the region. Attack helicopters are agile and can operate in mountainous terrain. They can provide close air support and conduct reconnaissance. India already operates a fleet of attack helicopters. Drones are becoming increasingly important in warfare. They are cheaper than manned aircraft and can provide persistent surveillance. India has been investing in drone technology. Fighter jets are fast and can deliver a variety of weapons. They can engage air and ground targets. India has a large fleet of fighter jets, including the Rafale and Su-30. Section 6. A Balanced Approach Combining Capabilities for Security The AC-130 gunship is a powerful weapon, but it is not a silver bullet. It has advantages and disadvantages. India needs to carefully consider its options. A balanced approach is needed. India should focus on a combination of assets. 
attack helicopters, drones and fighter jets can all play a role in securing its borders. These platforms are more suitable for the high altitude environment. India should continue to invest in modernizing its military. This includes upgrading its air defense systems and developing new tactics. It should also strengthen its intelligence gathering capabilities. Ultimately, India's security depends on a multi-layered approach. This includes diplomacy, economic development and military strength. The AC-130 could be a small part of this strategy, but it should not be the centerpiece.